Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and esteemed colleagues, I am Karim Fatehi, the Chief Executive of London Chamber of Commerce. And prior to this one, I've been the CEO of London uh, United Corporation, which is a supply chain organization working very closely with the energy sector. It is an honor. Members, 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 a voice, please. It is an honor to be here today at the UK Africa Business Summit. This summit represents a significant opportunity strengthening the economic ties between United Kingdom, Africa, particularly East Africa. And this discussion comes at a good time as I believe. We have a new government in place set out to drive economic growth and prosperity and embark on representing and resetting relationship with UK trading partners. The London Chamber of Commerce and Industry has long been a champion of British business, helping them navigate new market and extend their global footprint. We at London Chamber of Commerce promote global London as the best city in the world to do business, and we take pride and joy in doing so. Whether that's trade, invest, learn, or find new commercial partners, London Chamber of Commerce role is to facilitate business providing our members, which we have almost 8,900 members, to help and support so the need to unlock this connection and create platform for collaboration. We offer market intelligence, expert advice on importing and exporting and business trading courses on international trade. It is vitally very important to us as a chamber to find a way to boost trade and foster collaboration with East Africa. East Africa is a home to some of the fastest growing economies on the continent, with countries like Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda leading the charge. In recent years, our focus at London Chamber of Commerce on East Africa has intensified. Recognizing the immense potential of this dynamic region, we believe that building strong business relation with East Africa is not just an opportunity, but necessity, as we do believe. And we are always seeking opportunities to broaden our work with countries in G G jurisdiction. We are committed helping business, British businesses to understand the unique opportunities and the challenge in East Africa and work with African businesses to enhance their presence in the UK market. To do this, we need to identify and bridge the gaps that are currently hindering the trade. For many UK and London businesses, East Africa is still on familiar territory. We need to do more work. It is up to everyone here 
in this room to help make the challenge of importing and exporting an insan easier. Such regulatory environment on both sides. Logistic challenges and the market dynamic. We must work together to provide clear pathway for business in London and East Africa to succeed. We can do this through the combination of trade, mission, business forums, and sector-specific event, and bring together UK and East African businesses together. To date, we had great engagement with Rwanda business in the UK. We have supported trade mission to Rwanda, Kenya, which we have increased export to the UK. And we recently hosted a delegation of businesses from Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce as well. This initiative have allowed us to identify the key areas to focus on expertise, but also improvement. By focusing on this area, we aim to create mutually beneficial partnership that drives economic growth on both sides. While we are committed as a Chamber of Commerce to increase UK export to East Africa, it is equally important to address the barriers, again, as I said, imports, uh, hinders the imports from East Africa to the UK. The current rate from East Africa to the UK, whilst growing, are still relatively low. In 2023, the UK imported goods worth approximately, I believe, we believe, over 700 million pounds from East Africa, with a key import including agriculture, products, textile, mineral, as we discussed earlier. However, we believe this figure represents only a fraction on a potential that East Africa has to offer us. To boost this number, we must address several critical gaps, which is identifiable and is already identified. First, there is a need to greater promotion and marketing East African product in the UK market. Those of us in the room can work together, create more opportunities for East African businesses to showcase their products to UK retailers. Secondly, we must improve the logistical and supply chain connection between East Africa and the UK. These include investing in a better transport, infrastructure, streamlining the custom procedures, ensuring that there are reliable channels to flow the goods between both countries. We believe, again, by reducing the friction in this area, I believe we can significantly increase the volume of imports from East Africa. Looking ahead, our focus will be depending on collaboration with partners in the room across East Africa. We genuinely believe we welcome further discussion with all of you to identify new opportunities, overcome the challenges, and drive sustainable growth. We want to ensure the benefits of trades are shared equally. We also committed to advocating for the policies that facilitate trade investment between East Africa and UK. This include pushing for trade agreement that reduce tariffs 
enhance market access and provide legal framework necessary to support the long-term business partnership and collaboration. To conclude, I would like to reiterate that the London Chamber of Commerce and Industry is fully committed to strengthening the economic ties between UK and East Africa. This is a partnership, partnership of equals where both sides have much to offer and much to gain. By working together, we can unlock the new opportunities, drive ambitions, and create lasting prosperity for business and community across our region. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening to me today. Thank you.